Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Aries. For those of you that are already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, welcome back and thank you so much for all your love, support, your comments, your donations, and your concerns. All right, I've got my deck here of the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, but first I'd like to get into our 19 Delight card. We also have our question card. That's joy. How can I cultivate more joy? So our delight card is the frequency of delight, which supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. So, wow, what a powerful card there with delight. I love my sacred geometry cards. I've been working with them lately and oh my goodness, they really, really hit the spaces of awareness that we really need to gain some insight into. And so I'm really, really having a great time playing around with them. Ooh. Okay, so we have helpless and hopeless, detach, What's our last one? Joy and stability. Whoa. Interesting. So for those of you that haven't already, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And as always, I am here to support you guys in any way that I can. And... If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I am available at this time. All that information on how to do that is down there in that description box below. So let's go ahead and get into another set of cards and then we'll get rolling here. What I wanted to tell you guys really quick is I am doing some giveaways around fall solstice. And so I'll be giving away crystals and tarot cards and smudge sticks and tools that will be able to help you guys and assist you in really, really keeping those blocks out and really inviting as much healing um, and lessons as possible in. So let me pull a couple of these cards. Let's go ahead and move into our prayer. Ascended masters, angels, and guides guide us to the correct messages for my lovely sign of Aries. I wanted to say really quick that Aries mantra is all about I am. And I am is really a space where you're progressing. I am doing this. I am doing that. I am this. I am that. So it's always some type of action motion. Um, that you're always applying into your life, Aries. And I think it's really remarkable um, that you guys are so progressive all the time. So let's do some cards here. We got the Devil card. We got the King of Cups. Woo, good card there. We have our Ace of Cups. Four of Wands. The Hangman. And one last one, ooh, six of cups and pleasure. All right. So, you know, let's go into this card first because when we get into a place of despair, we always tend to go into this victim space. It's like we've been brainwashed into thinking, you know, that... we have to be a certain way 
And I'm going to tell you right now, we all need to switch this thing as a collective out of this space of victimhood and into a space of being whole, understanding your wholeness. So that you can not be so challenged by the obstacles that the universe really presents to you. These are all lessons. This isn't this helpless and hopeless like this card. This life is all about delight and joy. This life is about happiness and experiences and things that are inviting and happy and joyous and and connective, you know? So this card right here is really allowing me to give you this message of shifting, of moving into this delight and joy versus helpless and hopeless. Because we can stay here all day, okay? All of us do it including myself. We all do this. But when we transform this into knowing that this is a lesson and that this is not a hardship, this is nothing bad, we gain awareness. We flip things around and we turn our life into delight and joy and happiness. So for me, that's just a reminder to say, hey, listen, it's a good idea to stay out of the past. Use that pain as a tool to move forward, to help you in your life. And of course, it's preceded here by our detach card. And this card comes in very fluidly for me because what it's showing me here in this reading is that you need to let go of some of the past stuff. That there's things that are happening, that are changing. Life is not upsetting. It's not a sad situation. Yes, some of us get dealt a really bad deal. But in the end... There is this regard for wanting something better. And as humans, we are predisposed to love. That's what we are is love. So love is our priority. And then the attached emotions that sometimes we have in experiences, well, we have to go in there and sort those things out and let go of those things, detach from that because it's there to show us that it's not serving our highest best. And then honestly, this is where we need to end up and this is where you've ended up. You got through this. You recognize that there was something going on. You got tired of being sad. You got tired of being pissed off. You got tired of being in a space where you're like, I can't do this anymore. It's so low vibration and we all do it and we all go there. But the best part of the story here is that you made it back. Joy and stability is a card that says it's okay. You know what? Whatever. You had some hardship. We all have hardship, but look at it this way. There comes a time where we get to end one cycle and open up another. And the devil card shows us that. It also shows us where we can tempt ourselves in bad situations and go back into this victimhood. It's a thing of the past for you, though. It's a thing of the past for you because look at what's going on here. King of Cups. There's a new person coming in. There's a new individual that is like attaching to the higher vibration of you, magnetizing towards the better parts of you. Sacred love. Ace of Cups, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so lately I've been doing my readings really early in the morning, like 4 a.m. And one of the things that I've been experiencing lately is this calm, this collectiveness of really inspiring people to see where they need to, to go. And being in a really solid space of experiencing that joy and delight with others in these readings. So today, Aries, here's your completion card. There is no more helpless and hopeless. You're done. You're out of there. It's gone. Yes, we might have obstacles along the way and we might move forward and understand that we can be okay, that we can have joy, that we can have delight in our lives and that we don't have to go into these old patterns, these old experiences of helpless and hopeless Because it's time to change. Hangman brings change. Hangman brings transition. Hangman brings hope. Joy. Six of Cups. Pleasure. So moving into that space of a higher frequency. Six of cups is love. You're having a great time with an individual that just came in the door. For those of you that just met someone and for those of you that are already in a relationship and there's no plan on leaving that situation, six of cups says you're going to be having fun. You guys are going to be doing things that's more pleasurable to you. We're inviting. So let's go ahead and we'll get into this delight card. I keep staring at it and I'm like, let's talk about this. Let's see what this delight is that comes in in such a powerful, strong, joyous energy. Frequency of delight is a capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. That's what's coming in here. That's what's arriving. You saw past the stuff from the past. You realized that you wanted joy and stability. You wanted happiness and delight and joy. Delight literally means the light, from the light. Science refers to a light as an electromagnetic radiation that we can measure in wavelengths and is visible light. Its range of wavelengths varies in color that we can perceive with the human eye. In the new energy, we are asked to consider this multidimensional attributes of light as fundamental to what we believe about it as well. Light has a quantum attribute and it's non-linear. It's an energy that can be created through one's consciousness and consciousnesses can create it in return. Light influences our awareness, our perceptions, and our reality. We associate the word delight with the feelings of pleasure. <laughs> Interesting. We picked the pleasure card. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there real quick. Joy and bliss are considered to have some of the highest frequencies of all emotions. By feeling joyful or blissful, our frequency goes up. The higher our frequency, the more light we generate and the more we can 
shine our light into the world, you know, in return. So this yellow and the oranges and the pinks, they refer to the sun as a symbol and as a source of light. So you are being illuminated and the fact that you're a fire sign is really quite interesting to me here because, well, it's the light. You know, fire is like light. It lights things up. And so the universe is lighting you up. It's giving you happiness and joy and all those things that you really were inspired to have. The door of pleasure and happiness and intense joy is coming into play here. Is coming into sight, finally. Aries, I know you've been through some hell. Maybe in the last two years, you went through a situation where you were just like, I just can't do this anymore. It hurts too bad. I can't be friends with this person because that past we had was just so trying. So let's see what we can manifest as far as our soulmate energy is concerned here. Let's see what we can do with these manifesto cards. All right. Ooh, we have try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Well, there you go. It's asking you to upgrade your energy at this time, Aries. It's asking that you be happy for others so that you can be happy for yourself. You are moving into a steady and reliable path. Wow. This beautiful reading so far. Oh, my goodness. You have the world at your feet, and it's time to be happy about it. So, here we go. Start reclaiming who you truly are. Yeah, and that's why this individual's coming in here, is because you are reclaiming your truth. You are reclaiming your life. You are opening the door to happiness and joy. And for good reason. Because the world is at your feet. So start being happy. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. So yeah, I mean, we have a unique, a very unique situation going on here where you've reconciled energy from the past. You have reconciled the hurt, the pain, the hopelessness, the helplessness. And now you're soaring because you never gave up on something that you really wanted. You never gave up on it. You claimed it and it, it showed up. And you were like, that's what I manifested. I wanted happiness, joy, adventure, happy times, pleasurable moments. got to see the good parts of ourselves in order to bring awareness and illuminate those parts. If we're sticking them under a shelter, we're protecting them and the world doesn't get to experience that goodness of us. So we have to change that. It says the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you can give to others. And you found love here. You found love in a place that you never thought you would. And what is that? Well, you fell in love with you. You fell in love with your light. And the universe matched it. Because that's what the universe does. 
Yeah, that's what the universe does. So ask yourself today, go inward when you meditate and ask yourself, how can I cultivate more joy? Because the energy's here to delight you and support your capacity to create some intense happiness. What do we got here? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectations. Yeah. I mean, when we haven't had that solid love, that solid joy that we've been trying to manifest, well, guess what? Those desires pull that energy in. Those desires pull in that experience because you're manifesting it by your emotions by your heart and so the more intentional heart space we create the sooner things show up we have clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so this is asking you to be clear, to speak your truth to the universe and let the universe know I'm ready for love. I'm ready for love. I'm happy with myself and I'm happy with the experiences and the lessons I've created, even though they've been hard. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for those of you that are in a current relationship right now, male, female, cross watchers, whoever is tuning into this reading, if you're in a present situation, you're just going to create more joy and happiness. And you guys are going to get to a space where you can see more eye to eye, maybe some traveling, Maybe connecting with people you guys haven't connected with in a while. Maybe connecting with family. I feel that that's going to show up for you guys. And for those of you that are single, well, this story is starting to fit you a little bit more. Because there is new love coming in here. Ascended Masters, Angels, and Guides, thank you for the messages that you've given us today. Please guide us in direction of love for the sign of Aries. <sighs> What's this new love about? What is this new love about? Now we have joy and happiness interjected without anybody there. Even with the people that are in relationships right now you're creating that individuality and self-love and it's giving more to your present situation getting to know each other Ooh, it says as you reveal your um, innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so again i'm going to go back to those that are in a present situation you guys are going to get deeper things are going to really start to illuminate with you and you're going to start to experience that love and joy that you've been wanting to desire from this partner and you know for those of you that aren't in a partnership and stuff is starting to happen maybe you recently met someone or for those of you that haven't, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. New love, but you got to trust. Here's the part that's hard. Here's the part that we go, oh, it's hard for me to trust because of my past. Well, this is asking you to create that space in your life. To call on to faith. I'm going to pull one more here. And then I'm going to get into my lover's oracle cards. <sighs> Shh. 
Show me the love. Show me the love. Show me the love. Yep. All right. So here's why the situation has got to get real with you from the past. Maybe this is another little message, a little uh, interjection of some awareness that needs to be set forth because we do have deception as someone wearing a false mask in this relationship. So for those of you in a situation, um, you know, maybe you guys went through some stuff like that in the past, or maybe, maybe you have a blessed relationship and I congratulate you for being in that good headspace. That's your creation. But for those of you that had a past with someone and you're kind of reveling in this old hurt, well, that deception card comes in and says no more. It's okay. They deceived you. Let's gain awareness on that. Give gratitude for what that lesson held and move the heck on okay playfulness we have new experiences coming in here playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yeah you know it's okay to be happy it's okay to have joy, intense joy, delight. I think that we talk ourselves out of that. And I need you to stop doing that now. Because it's time for you to forgive yourself and forgive those who have hurt you and start learning. And as you release and heal the past, you're going to experience more love in your present moment. Because you have new love coming in here. All right. I'm going to get into our lover's oracle. Let's get deep into the love. Let's get deep into the love. Yeah. All right. So let's continue to go here. Ascended masters, guide me with the oracle cards of love so that I may show Aries all the good love and happiness that is here now, past, present, future. Ooh, I'm just going to take this card here. Sacred or sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you at this time. Now follow it in faith. And this is going back to more faith. You know, the, the other cards said, have more faith in the good. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically so our manifestation card said yeah we're manifesting this Woo! look at this though we may be physically apart spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so yes a beautiful beautiful experience there so if you'd like to go a little bit deeper into this reading and you want to get some personalization on your experience, all my information on how to book a reading with me is down there in that description box below. And I made it really simple and easy for you guys just to go to my website, click the tab services and pick your service and press the word book. Super simple, super easy, and we can get into this a little bit more and see where we're at as far as love's concerned and personalize it for you. For those of you that haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And I am giving away crystals and smudge sticks and tarot cards, so... Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you'll be placed in these drawings weekly. And with all your likes, that enters you in and your comments as well. 
So thanks again for showing up and thank you intuitive healer tarot family. I always appreciate your love, support and understanding. Have a blessed day. Namaste.